supernatural answers and solutions do not just appear they are received supernatural answers and solutions to any and every problem they do not just appear they are received if you find anyone with an answered prayer it did not just appear they received it are we together as simple as overcoming barriers the four obstacles to god's blessings apostle joshua selman sheds light on the secret barriers that may obstruct the flow of god's blessings in our lives discover the four critical factors that stand between you and the divine favor you seek each barrier can be identified and addressed through spiritual insight and action in this message Learn how to dismantle these obstacles and open yourself to the abundant blessings God has prepared for you. Embrace these teachings to strengthen your connection with God and experience His blessings more fully. Supernatural answers and solutions do not just appear, they are received. Supernatural answers and solutions to any and every problem, they do not just appear, they are received. If you find anyone with an answered prayer, it did not just appear, they received it. Are we together? As simple as this thought is, I want you to think very deeply that supernatural solutions and answers do not just appear. Whether it is healing, whether it is breakthrough, whether it is favor, whether it is deliverance. If you ever find any believer experiencing the goodness, the power of God, it is not just because it appeared, it is because it was received. Are we together now? And the Bible lets us know that one of the major platforms for receiving from God is prayer. Prayer is one of the platforms that were designed by the intelligence of God himself to afford the saints opportunity to receive from him. Mark eleven twenty four 24 says, um, Verily, verily, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, what things soever ye desire, it says, when ye pray in prayer, believe that ye receive them and thou shall have them, not without prayer. So prayer is a platform platform for receiving and making promises manifest are we learning now everything from setting the captives free healing the sick delivering the oppressed granting prosperity receiving help of all sorts from god bringing negative seasons and circles to an end reintroducing new ones that have been stopped by satan all of them are answered prayers supernatural solutions but i'm saying that they cannot just appear they must be received i want to give you four keys as i prepare your heart i want to teach you how to receive because many believers do not know how to receive they want to receive they intend to receive hallelujah as i run through this list you will find out why many people never really receive from god in spite of the availability of his presence and his power the bible says as jesus taught the power of god was present to heal but some were healed and some were not so it was not the absence of his power are you ready now number one the first thing you need to understand in receiving from God is that all lasting help comes from God and God alone. Write that down, please. All lasting help comes from God and God alone. You will never receive anything from God when you, are, you have many options, God and other things, God and other people, God and other idols. God and other men that make themselves demigod. The condition for receiving from God demands number one, first and foremost, that you must believe consciously that all lasting, all lasting help comes from God and God alone. Psalm 121 verse 1. Very quickly, 121 verse 1. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills and it says from whence cometh my help verse 2 let's read together one to read my help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth my help not our help I don't know where you get yours from but my help 
cometh from the Lord which made the heavens and the earth God is a maker it's not only the heavens and the earth he made he can make destinies he can make families he's a maker are we together now very important Psalm 60 11 and verse 12 all lasting help comes from God and God alone Psalm 60 11 and 12 give us help from trouble it says for vain is the help of man are you reading that give us help from trouble a man is praying unto the God of the Bible for vain is the help of man verse 12 it says though it says through God we shall do valiantly for it is he that tread down our enemies someone say help me Lord shout it like you believe say help me Lord one more time say help me Lord hallelujah in 2nd Kings chapter 5 very interesting story we'll read from verse 5 to 7 the Bible talks about the man called Naaman are we together that that man was a valiant man he was a captain of the army under Syria and he was leprous and one time they captured a slave girl who served his wife and she said oh that this man would go to Israel that there is a prophet there that will cure him from that infirmity are we together when we get to verse 5 word got to the king of Syria that such a possibility was available and the king of Syria wrote a letter to the king of Israel and he departed he took all those treasures and when Naaman got to Israel verse 6 the Bible says he brought the letter to the king of Israel watch what the king of Syria wrote he said when this letter was come to him behold I have therewith sent Naaman my servant unto thee that thou mightest recover him from his leprosy the king was afraid verse 7 and it came to pass when the king of Israel had read the letter that he rent his clothes and said am I God to kill and make alive am I God that this man doth send me to recover a man of his leprosy so even though he was king he acknowledged that there are things that only God can do are we together the king sent a letter make sure that Naaman returns back well and he said this man is only using leprosy to cause another trouble again let me tell you the truth there are things that men can do they are not miracles you don't clap for me for walking it is natural to walk it is human to walk it's not supernatural when I cry it is human to cry but there are things only God can do that looks like what God is doing tonight shout amen shout a louder believing amen there are things men cannot do there are things only God can do many of us are here tonight to encounter things only God can do you left men at home but you have come to God because men are great but they are very limited even if you are the king of Israel when it has to do with the business of curing Naaman only the God of heaven I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus what men have tried to do sincerely so and could not be done today may the God of Israel the real king of Zion may he do it cheaply in your life may he do it cheaply to your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ Psalm 127, 1 and 2. All lasting help comes from God and God alone. Read with me. 1, 2. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Uh -huh. Except the Lord watch or keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. Verse 2. It says, it is vain for you to rise up early and to sleep late only to eat the bread of sorrow for so he giveth his beloved sleep you want to receive from god tonight look beyond joshua selman you want to receive from god tonight look beyond koinonia we are vessels but he is the god of heaven they looked unto him and the bible says their faces were lightened there is no disappointment when you look unto him is someone hearing you heard the testimonies 
it looks like it is men producing the testimonies but every man knows that you are incapacitated if you ever have the power to extend the possibilities of God it is because God by mercy has granted you that grace are we learning number two the second thing you must know if you want to receive from God is that God is a loving father and a giver who desires the well-being and the joy of his children a long statement but I will repeat it you need to get this in addition to knowing that all help comes from God you must be conscious of the fatherhood of God that God is a loving father and he's also a giver I told you that the hallmark of fatherhood is not bearing children according to scripture the hallmark of fatherhood is the ease to give if you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more your heavenly father are we together will give the Holy Spirit and Mark chapter 7 and verse 11 says give good things good things good things God is a loving father and a giver who desires the well-being and the joy of his children. So don't ask tonight, does God want to heal me? It's an insult on the fatherhood of God. Don't ask if God wants me to rise. Don't ask if God is happy that I am poor. Are we together now? Everything that is inconsistent with the character of true fatherhood, you must contend that it changes in your life. God is a good God. God is a loving father. He is also a giver. Romans chapter 8 and verse 32. I like this. Romans 8:32. The fatherhood of God. Romans 8:32. Media help us please. Romans chapter 8 and 32. He that spared not his own son but delivered him up for us all. He says, how shall he not with him also give us freely? How many things? Shout it, say all things. That includes healing, say all things. That includes restoration, say all things. That for your sake, God did not spare Jesus. For your sake, when Jesus cried and said, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, Father, with all the love you have for me, you still turn your face. He said, I love you, but for the sake of man, I will sacrifice you. If he gave Jesus, is it a healing he will not give you? If he gave Jesus, is it a lifting he will not give you? If he gave Jesus, is it ending yokes of curses and delay that he will not bring? You must be conscious of the fatherhood of God. It matters that you know who the listen your confidence is based on the awareness of the benevolence of the person you are pleading to help you are we together now if you hear that go and collect 20,000 from this man the first question you ask is is he a giver is he used to giving who did he give to how easily did he give ah, no 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 this man he will give you anything including his heart and you will go with confidence sir please help me I hear you like helping men but there are a few people if they say collect five naira from them you say no i'll go and walk this man does not give anything god is a giver the proof that he's a giver is that he did not spare jesus are we together now he did not spare jesus he would have given one angel or given whatever he said jesus you are my son you are god but because of the love i have for man you will die and not even the tears of Jesus changed his mind. That's how determined he is. I'm praying for you. You will experience the fatherhood of God tonight. Listen. Let faith rise in your spirit. Because some of you, as you are listening to me now, you will check that pain and see that it's gone. God is a giver. Did you hear me? God is a giver. Whether you are inside, outside, all the overflows, connecting online. God is a good father and he's a giver. He's not a cruel person rejoicing that you are not able to pay rent. You are a father with five children. How does it give him glory that you are incapacitated? Everything that insults the fatherhood of God in the world of men must become your project tonight. Are we together? Yeah. By the privilege of God's grace, I have many people under my care that I take care of. I've taken care of them for years. I have the honor of contributing uh, to communities. 
and I know how responsible I feel over those that I have the privilege to take care of. When they call me and say, Daddy, they've increased our school fees, I won't get angry at them. It's not their fault. If you have assumed the position of Abba, it comes with that responsibility. Are we together? There has never been anybody I recall under my care and fatherhood who come, maybe they increase my rent and they increase school fees. And I say, you must be stupid. It's not the fault of the person. That's why he's the son and you are the father. So when you come before God and say, God, look what is happening. I cannot pay my rent. That's why I'm coming to you. Let me tell you, every time you believe God, you put pressure on his fatherhood. That because you have trusted him, who am I speaking to? That you traveled all the way. You didn't just come to meet Joshua Selman. You came to meet your father. And your father is the king of Zion. He's a mighty God. Father. Most people do not receive because they do not know who is giving them. They, when it has to do with receiving from God, you don't think him as God. It's a family affair. The prodigal son remembered that he had a father and he said, no matter how far I have gone, my father may be a CEO of a company, but I'm not going to a CEO. I will arise and go to my father. If you go to the warrior, you will not receive anything. The warrior fights, he does not show compassion. Are we together now? God is a warrior, but tonight he's chosen to be father. In other words, he's saying, my child, let me hear from you again. What did you say has been threatening your joy from January till June? And you say, God Almighty, my biological father just died this year and I'm the first out of eight children. There is no way I can rise. Vain is the help of men. I have come to you. And he says, step back. Since you have called me father, let me show you what a good father does. I've tasted of the fatherhood of God. Let me tell you, he's a faithful father. There are many fathers here. It becomes an insult on your reputation if they find your children roaming around the street. Are you not the child of so, 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 and so? He say, yes, sir. Where is your father that is allowing you to do this? There are certain people because of the status of their parents, the children never have to go through certain things again. Am I right on that? When others are queuing, the father can hold them because he owns the company. I've seen children, I've seen people come to look for a CEO and they are waiting at the reception and the child of that man will run and push them and open the door. No secretary, no PA. He did not come to see a CEO. He came to see father. Everybody's trying to behave himself to get the job. Let me conduct myself before I lose the job. And the boy comes. Not disrespectful, but confident. And he opens the door and says, Daddy, I'm hungry. And what they labor to prepare in the kitchen, he says, my son, sit down and eat. You want to receive from God? You must know that you are not receiving from one of those deities. God is not just a better deity than other demons. Christianity is the only faith practice where God relates to men as father. Every other faith practice demands obeisance and demands meeting God as a stranger. You are not even sure you may die in the process. But he's chosen to draw us. He calls us sons. He calls us children. He doesn't just call us citizens or members. It is true that he is king. It is true that he is warrior. But he is father. Someone say father. That is a name that is a very expensive name. We live in a world where people assume that name. That name comes with enormous responsibility. When you ever assume the name father, that means I have accepted the responsibility of seeing to the welfare of that child. The prodigal son's father sat down. He said, even though my son has misbehaved, but I am father, will I leave that boy that way? Do you 
even though the prodigal son did not meet him at home in my opinion if the prodigal son met the boy at home we will have a right to query the man because he has an advantage of age and experience as the prodigal son was looking for him he was also looking for his son they met somewhere and the man never spoke to him about what he did the bible says while he was a great way off the father saw him and had what compassion and saw him and fell on his neck and kissed him and said my son let's go you are smelling but you are still my son you are lean you've lost weight but you are still my son most likely sick you need to see a doctor but you are still my son i will hold you and cross the rivers with you if people look at you and say is this not the boy that we knew years ago living a riotous life he will say it is a family affair it's not you he offended i am the father it is a family affair he didn't offend the community i'm the one he offended and if i've chosen to hold him back home then who can lay a charge against God's elect? Are we together? Is someone learning? Someone say, I receive. I receive. We receive by having the consciousness of the fatherhood of God. I tell you, if you understand these principles I'm sharing with you, you will begin to see miracles already happening because when the revelation of the fatherhood of God hits you, doubt and fear will go. Hallelujah. We have our children here I always hope you enjoyed watching our videos we truly do hope that you were blessed please do well to subscribe to our youtube channel turn on the notification button so you are always notified whenever we post inspiring and amazing content like this do also follow us up on our social media handles on facebook instagram tiktok thank you so much